Welcome to uh, the next part of Football Manager 2011 Next uh, Let's Play. And as you can see, uh, I have some uh, rather interesting news, and it's that uh, my Liverpool have been taken over by another person. Now, unfortunately, it is not John W. Henry, as I don't think he is written into the game, or at least uh, hasn't been patched into the game yet. And it's uh, this Copenhagen-based uh, businessman, Fleming Ostergaard. Um, I've never heard of him. He has business links with Mexico and is believed to want to install Javier Aguirre as Liverpool boss. I very much doubt that. So we have a personal message uh, from here. That's £60 million pounds has been pumped into Liverpool coffers, which is uh, fantastic. Uh, and what we're going to do quickly is I'm going to do the League Cup fourth round draw and then we'll get on to the game against Manchester City. So let's uh, view the draw. So we have 16 teams in the fourth round. Let's do it. So we have Tottenham Hotspur versus Exeter City. What a good game that is for the uh, for Exeter there. Queens Park Rangers versus Liverpool. Hmm, QPR. Now it could have been a hell of a lot harder. I've got to say, you know, with likes of Arsenal and Chelsea in there, we've got a Championship team. QPR, though, no pushovers. Let's uh, finish that draw off. And uh, let's see, we've got Coventry versus Bolton, Ipswich versus Wolves, Watford versus Arsenal, that's a bit of a derby. Aston Villa versus Peterborough, Cardiff versus Sunderland, good to see Cardiff still in it, and Wigan versus Chelsea. Well, they most certainly have no hope in hell, I am sorry to say, Wigan. <laughs> uh, Roberto Mancini is unsure. That's nice. I'm not sure about your hairstyle, Mancini, but uh, I don't really care. I don't shout about that. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're now going to fast forward to the game itself and the team I put out. So uh, I'll see you on the flip side. Uh, next game against Manchester City um, at Anfield. So it's probably the first home game, if you will, of uh, against the bigger teams. Uh, I don't know whether you, I, I don't want to call uh, I don't want to call it the big four since um, City are really on in the big four, but. Well, well, technically, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's too complex to uh, to start calling them uh, the big four, the big five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever they are. Um, just uh, I, this is probably what I'd call my stock team now. Maybe not with pools and maybe Lucas, a bit different, but and maybe Babel as well. But this is I would say my stock team uh, with Torres, Gerard, Morales, Carragher, Reina. You know, I mean, I've I, I, Rotate a bit, you know, with Skirtle, with Iger, and Paulson with Lucas, um, Konchesky with Aurelio, but, you know, players like Reina, Johnson, Carragher, Morales, Gerard Torres, they pretty much cemented the team, so uh, we're going to go straight into this, and uh, we should have enough quality to see off City, although, to be fair to them, City should also have enough quality to um, to beat us. Hope well, I certainly hope not because I mean, look, look at the look at the team. I mean, <laughs> look at the look at the names. You know, uh, Silva and Tevez, Barry and Milner, and oh, just too many players, too many quality players. Uh, anyway, let's see. What's the, what was this final instruction here? Uh, Silva and De Jong close them down. Now I, I've talked about this before. When I don't know where they're giving your players too many opposition oppositional instructions can sort of but not necessarily backfire but sort of just do more harm than good and there we go I, I, I honestly don't know if that if that is the case but I say what we will find out because I've given them a load of instructions and uh, oh that's not too bad at least we have a free kick we have start off with the possession so we're it's not a nightmare start, you know, because it's always that sort of worry, especially when you're playing against teams like City, that, you know, you may just get absolutely dominated, you know, and it's very, you know, there's only so much you can do, and, you know, you start panicking, thinking, oh, oh God, you know, you set it to, like, you set your instructions to overload, and you're putting all your players forward, and that only just leads to more issues, and... You know, but we do, we, at least you know we've had well, I've had one shot on target after just nearly eight minutes, so it's not too bad. But when you're playing against players like Silva and Wright, Phillips, Tevez, Barry, Milner, uh, you know that they they can always are they better than maybe Maxi Rodriguez? Are they better than Christian Poulsen? Oh well, they're not bad than Torres because he's just scored. <laughs> uh, great finish. 
I was going to say, I think uh, that may not be true to an extent in real life, but uh, as, of all, as, I always re- as I always refer to real life, it doesn't matter because I think in the game it doesn't really matter because uh, Suarez has just buried that. And we're winning 1-0, which is very handy. And this stupid screen again. Aye. Right, we're back, and uh, yeah, very good move, and once again, uh, as Maxi this time. I've got to say, that's a very good finish, actually, from Torres. Uh, one thing I have just seen, which was pretty cool, uh, is the FA Cup uh, second round... Oh, Johnson's going to have to come off. Oh, shoot, if one player I really didn't want to get injured is Glenn Johnson. Uh, I suppose Danny Wilson, then. He's all I've got. I'm not putting... Yeah, it does say the left. It does say the L C. Not except obviously with Aga saying D C. I think he can play ish. I, I suppose he can play right or wherever side that is. Right back, I think that is. Uh, so that's a shame. But as I was saying, uh, FA Cup second round, um, qual or the second qualifying round before we get to the uh, FA Cup proper was um, you see all like the non-league teams and obviously the non-league teams can obviously refer to more local teams. I want to say local teams, I mean genuine local teams, as in right round the corner, and that was the case for me. Uh, I'm sure some of you are going to be thinking, well, I thought Liverpool was your local team. Um, oh, 2 nil is it? Oh, goalkeeper does well. Um, well, yes, Liverpool are my local team. However, if you want to get really local, as in right round the corner, as I say, um, there is a team that is right round the corner, uh, and they're called Marine. <laughs> they're in the... Northern Unibond Premier League, I think, is is the term. I, I don't know what what uh, what else to call it. Um, I think they're like God. I'm trying to work out how many. Oh, that was that was so close. I'm trying to think how many uh, leagues league positions they are from say the football league. I think they're like, it's like it goes League One, League Two, Conference, Conference South and North, and then the Northern Unibon Premier League, so that's how far down they are. And uh, they're actually not doing too badly. If you look on uh, Sky Sports News, you can, I think you may actually be able to see them. Um, and I say low, they're not, they are probably more local because obviously they're close to home, but also I suppose, because um, I'm not going to get all geographical in here, but I don't know, some some um, old type people might say this area isn't Liverpool, I'm not going to disclose where I am, but uh, the whole area where Marine is based. Some people might say it's not Liverpool, so I don't know, never mind. Anyway, um, yeah, and uh, the, 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 uh, at the end of the day, they won. They won 2-0 against a team called Lancaster City, which is very nice. So they're into the third qualifying round. So uh, good luck to Marine <laughs> on this game. Uh, I'm not too sure how they uh, fared this year in the FA Cup in real life, but we uh, it doesn't matter because they're not in it. So they're not in at this stage. Then again, neither are Liverpool. What a shame. And uh, we seem to be keeping possession very, very well so far. And Ryan Babel's offside after all the... I really shouldn't have said and I think I've, I think I've just jinxed it there. Um, what I've found is uh, the standard instruction, ta- uh, tactic instruction at the moment seems to be doing reasonable, reasonably well. You know, obviously you, against Man City, you really don't want to be attacking because they have got so many quality players. I know that sounds pretty... Um, obvious but you know they have so many quality players that can just in a in a flat an absolute flash can just destroy a whole team and i really wouldn't recommend going on the attack you know j- just leave them uh leave it as it is and j- unless obviously you do need the change um so i'm not going to say get careless or anything because that was a very very good first half performance uh steven gerrard is getting a bit tired Hopefully we can score a second goal and hopefully can take him off nearer the end. So we do seem to be doing okay. Oh, ooh, excuse me. And uh, so now they've gone to a more familiar style just as that's what I am. We're at a familiar style at the moment and we are pushing forward. And Torres, strike again. We, we've had, to be fair, and I know I haven't really uh, touched on them really because I've been talking about Marine, but uh, how many chances have we had, like, just sort of, Slot sliding the ball across the goal and and all sorts, so many chances. Um, oh, Gerard's really tired. I'm going to have to take him off. I don't really want to do that. No, I'm not going to make a change yet. Screw it. I'm not making a change. Not until we get that second goal. I cannot take Steven Gerrard off unless we get a second goal. 
That just is not happening. And that's a really good ball. Tell you what, Skirtle's been very, very impressive. Oh my god. <laughs> Maxi Rodriguez, one thing when what players hell, jostle it? like that, you'd always think, um, oh, is there going to be a foul here? Are you going to... Oh, what's it go? What the hell just happened? What just... What... what? Uh, I was, uh, and that brings me on to a point really, it's kind of similar where, you know when two players are jostling for the ball, and you think, oh there's going to be a foul here, you know, and it, you can just see when a penalty comes in from a mile away. Oh, he's not marking the man, and, oh, I think Reina just couldn't get a hand to it I suppose. <laughs> so well, defo, I'm not taking Gerard off now, stop that. Oh, for God's sake! For goodness sake! City, you horrible... Horrible, horrible, dirty bastards. Right, Joe Cole's going to have to come on now for Ryan Babble, who has been injured. So I've been it's a good job I didn't take Joe Cole, because I probably would have made a uh, second sub. Because I like to make two subs, I don't like to have to um, go back and forth every uh, so often, it's just easier. Probably helps the team out as well, you know, two, obviously I'm sure two, like, two fresh legs, is, uh, of course you got two fresh legs, <laughs> uh, two fresh players I should say. Is always better than one. Um, oh, and that's good by Maxi's last onto the ball. Play it across. Why? I'm going to have to tell him not to shoot. That's that's terrible. I'm going to have to have a private chat with him and st stop telling him to shoot. You can't score from them impossible angles. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, I know Gerard's tired, but um, I'll probably rest him in the next game. or I'll probably I'll put him on the subs bench for the next game, I think, because... Oh, don't... Oh, good save, Rainer. Yeah, I'm going to have to, it looks like... Yeah, Jared actually ain't too bad. I have to, I'm, I'm taking Maxi off. He's just been too wasteful. And I can't grab him. There we go. Uh, I'm going to put Cow on. I know now he has been... The reason why I've dropped him is because he has been in poor form. But, um... I'm, I'm just going to just take him on. He, he can make a difference. He's been doing way better than... He's going to do way better than Maxi. He's just been so wasteful. Both going for it. And I tell you what. City, I'll take a draw. I'll take listen. I'll take a draw against City. I'm not too bothered by by that. Sure, we've conceded the goal, but Maxi Rodriguez, where are you? I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to say disappointed. I know I don't usually like to do this to players, but that was disappointing. He had so many, so many chances. I mean, I know it's a home draw, but when you're playing, I've talked to us before. When you play the bigger teams like City and similar, you know. You're not too bothered by um, by a draw. Uh, two days, two and three. That's not too bad then. Okay, and Ryan Babble. Give him injection, so he's only out for just over a week. That's not too bad. Oh no, sudden so leads to physio. I don't care. He's not. He's got plenty of. Well, no, M Man City didn't hold out for a draw. They they caught clawed to go back and then nearly scored at the end. That's not holding out. That's that's us holding out. And Torres once again, man of the match. Which I think that's his third man of the match. Very good. And uh, who's Aguer? I don't know who that is. Oh, is he the? Um Oh yeah, he's the guy who's kind of meant to be replacing me, which is quite funny. If that happens, then this is um, that, uh, that that's going to be irritating because I'm actually I don't see why they got concerned. Why would you be concerned after um, we're, we're second in the league for God's sake? Ugh. So that was a reasonably quick game. I will uh, do the post-match conference. I think uh, we had a great start as as we saw there. I'm not going to say anything because I honestly didn't see it. And uh, of course we have Queens Park Rangers in the FA Cup, in the uh, League Cup, I should say. Now um, I didn't see it, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to say anything. So uh, next game is against Genk, which is uh, in the Europa League. So we're going back into Europe once again, and uh, I'll see you for that hopefully. So uh, goodbye for now.